Hello friend, welcome back on Science Pro. I am Dr. Ravindra Dhonde. In today's video, I am going to show you how to analyze population genetic using PubGene software. In this video, I will show you co-dominant deployed data analysis by using PubGene software. So, any further rule, let's get start. If you not yet subscribe SciExpo, do subscribe SciExpo. You will get similar videos and actual data analysis in future. Pubgene codomain deploy data analysis. This is a basic file format for using the deploy data analysis. The first four line is about the introduction about your data file. First one is the title of your data file. Whatever title you have to give using the backslash star and you have to mention your title of your data. Means this is a deployed alphabetic data for three population each with varying records, genotypes, so on. Then second line will be the number of populations is equal to three. Here there are three types of population mentioned. Number of loci is using total total twenty one. And fourth line was uh, using locus names. That is a twenty one locus name. And in each of the population you have to make uh, keep a empty line or population name of each population. So deployed data analysis we are using different types of Dot analysis parameters like genotype frequency, HD windwork, equilibrium test, fixation index, allele frequency, allele number, allele effective allele number, polymorphic loci, observed homozygosity, expected homozygosity, observed heterozygosity, expected heterozygosity, Shannon index, homozygosity test, health statistics, gene flow, genetic distance, dendrogram, neutrality test, two locus LD, multi population, so on. Let's jump into the a Microsoft Excel hands on input file preparation in Microsoft Excel for deployed and deployed co dominant data analysis using PubGene software. This is a deployed data for co dominant marker sheets. First, uh, first four lines are the information about your own data types, as I mentioned in the previously. So, first, year, you have remember that uh, should, you should use. Uh, backward slash in the in title of your data then your number of populations is equal to 3 and number of loci 21 then follow to this and uh, your locus name so here is a total 21 is a locus name mentioned here and this one is a uh, your population types the population 1 population 2 and population 3 in between that population you mentioned there is an empty line mentioned here there so this line is keep for the population name so for, uh, here i don't know the population names so i keep here empty lines for each in between each populations so uh, create the id for each population like population one two and three so on so this is all the types of data and then here i have to mention their total number of markers and locus so here 21 locus here two locus is in the column format so this is the one 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 locus second and third like this 21 locus is here in column wise and genotypes are genotypes name are in a row wise genotype 1 genotype 2 total 1 to 9 in the first population and the second one is a 1 to 9 same and third one is a 1 to 1 to 25 genotypes in one population like that if uh, you can uh, mention to population one also but uh, in this in this case you have to delete the this empty space between the populations so we can if you don't know the types of population present in your um, your data sheets then you have to make here you have to say population one this is a deployed data file for alphabet for alphabetical data file formats so we save this data file in the excel file format first of all i am going to copy select all file then copy it and then open popgene software now i am going to open the popgene software this is a PubGene Windows interface of the software, then you have to create the new data file in the in, in the PubGene software file formats. Then here is a new one. You can create new file, new data file, other uh, also, and you go to the file, you have to create new data file. Same. Then I am going to create here, create a new data file. 
the new windows text editor of popgin is open okay now i'm going to paste uh, data from excel to the popgin text editor see data is uh, pasted in the popgin text editor now i'm going to save this data in the popgin format right so i'm going to here go to file here and save the your data in popgin format i'm going to save here a new window is open where we're going to save this where you want to save your data i'm going to save this file in my working directory i'm going to create here and from desktop this is the code dominant data so i am created a one file for popgin code dominant ssr data file format so i am create here and hold hit ok so my file will be save here type i am going, going to type name of the file what name you have to give to your file data in data file format so it's a deployed deployed code dominant dominant deployed code dominant okay so alphabetical al alpha now i'm going to save this file in my working directory hit ok now my data is saved in the data file format i am going to minimize this i am going to load the data file and it's a dominant code dominant data file format i am going to select this code dominant marker data file format once i select this so new window will open where you have to show the where is your data save so i am save here in the popgin code dominant data file format i'm going to hit double click on that you will file select in this folder contain your data file format that is a deployed code dominant alpha i'm going to select this one hit okay this is my data file deployed code dominant alpha okay i am reduce the short uh, short in the name my you know, data file formats because uh, long name it's not going to recognize this software so keep in mind you have to give short name of your data file formats okay i'm going to click okay okay once your data is loaded it look like this if it's uh, not look like this then there will be maybe error in your data file formats okay now once your data loaded successfully then i'm going to go dominant tab on the tab bar okay i'm going to this is a on the selecting the code dominant data then i'm going to deploy data this is a deploy data then i'm going to select okay so new window will open here i'm going to select what kind of analysis you want to do there is a variable as a column so our locus are in a column it should be clicked don't click on record as a column so variables as a column then i'm moving forward so total number of populations are using the single population no it's not single population it's a three population we can use group population otherwise multi population i am going to select multi population here now what kind of analysis do you want then general frequency allele frequency polymorphic loci shannon index heterozygosity genetic distance dendrogram f statistic homozygous observe heterozygosity observe homozygosity allele number adenine fixation index so if you don't know what kind of analysis do you want then select check all okay if once you select the check all then remember you have to select neutrality test and uh, groups multi population you have to filter out this kind of data in the next analysis procedure steps okay for that purpose i am going to uncheck this thing which is uh, not required for presently and check okay so then new windows new pop up will open and then it shows that do you want to retain all loci for further analysis yes if you say yes then it will move as it is all loci for analysis if you not then we can filter out your loci from the your what 21 total loci is there you can filter total 20 loci from that one i am going to select yes yes then do you want next pop up will open then do you want to retain all population for further analysis 
I am going to take all population for further analysis. I don't want to filter out from the analysis population throughout the analysis. Then I am going to click yes. So then second one is the next next pop up will open. Let's enter the significance level of LD test. So remember that the your significance p value should be equal and less than point zero five. Okay, I am going to click okay. Okay, next. And remember that I clicked on the step at step three neutrality test. So therefore, it's coming at the neutrality test. So your simulation of neutrality test should be range in five hundred to thousand. So it should be give ninety five percent of significance interval between your population test neutrality test. I am going to click OK. OK. So your analysis is going to done, and your new window is open as a result file format. Is RST so your result file is a deployed code dominant alpha RST file format. This is your analysis. So all kind of analysis mentioned over here, like you can see here. So deployed alphabetic three population code dominant marker analysis. So overall locus is each giving each locus giving all details like genotype observed expected expected values observed value. Like this, chi square test, degree of freedom, probability, all basic statistics. It will generate the file form file. You just copy all file formats in paste in the text or Word, Microsoft Word, for your future purpose. See, this is overall all locus information here. So genotypes, observe, observe frequency, expected frequency, observed by expected total number of. This information give each marker, each locus give basic statistics. So on the basis of that, you can interpret your population types and your genetic diversity, some population genetic analysis between the all locus and population. Here I am going to show one thing. Here there is a correlation also fixation index. Of your major heterozygous deficiency or excesses, so allele A, B, C, and D, you will get the correlation matrices between the your loci, which loci gives significant values according to your population type. Then you are. I hope you understand the. I understand the deployed code, the deployed code dominant SSR marker data analysis. Next video, I will show you deployed code dominant marker data analysis, actual hands-on analysis training. So don't forget to Sci Expo. You will find similar videos on channel. Thanks for watching Sci Expo.